But I think that, you know, the reality with something like Congo is that we've got policy on the books. I mean, the, the law that gives us everything that we could ever ask for for Congo was written by Obama. And it was co-sponsored by Clinton. Um, and nothing's done. We've got international jurisdiction. We've got domestic law. We've got, like, you know, uh, geopolitical coalitions in name, right? We've got everything in place that we need, and people are still dying. And so the lobbying to me that matters is not the lobbying that happens on Capitol Hill. The lobbying that matters to me is the lobbying that happens at the club down the street. This is about public will. Um, this is about overwhelming critical mass of people demanding an end to these problems. And, and um, we have the strength, we have the mechanisms, we have the money, we have the tools, we've got the law, we've got everything we need to solve them, we have no public will. I think that um, what we've always said is that really to see peace in Congo, there are two major things that need to happen, right? This is broad strokes, but two major things. One, you gotta stop cycles of violence, and two, you have to create a global coalition. Right, that global coalition will put, will create political incentive for our political leaders, and will create financial incentive for our corporate leaders to do all the necessary steps in this world. And honestly, I think what we're looking at is that the only way that this gets solved is with radical collaboration. Like, I think unprecedented collaboration, right? Um, collaboration that makes all of our previous efforts seem like feeble and, and short-sighted, right? Let's like, there are real human beings dying today. There are real solutions that are available for these problems, and we have yet to build a coalition that is strong enough and wide enough and broad enough to actually push forward those solutions. And so, I don't care whose name is on it. Um, I don't care who gets credit. I don't care who gets money. Um, I just want to see solutions. I want to see people stop dying. You know, we're, in short, like, we're going to do whatever it takes to go from a 20th century that was in many ways like a bloodbath to a 21st century without mass atrocities and genocide. It's totally within the realm of possibility and I think that in the end it is far more profitable, far more safe, and far more free for all of us and, and for our children especially. Um, so let's do it, right? Let's do it. Whatever that takes to build and we're just going to build it.